Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So last week I let you know that the dev channel to beta channel inside a program window is closing. And that's because, as you may well know, up until recently the dev and the beta channels were sharing the same updates with Microsoft releasing one build for both channels simultaneously. And I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, that soon this will be changing. Now, just to let you know that now, just to let you know that this has already happened because the beta channel has received its own preview build 26220.7653 with the update KB5074157. So the Devon beta channels now are two separate channels in the Insider program. Now, just to go through what's new in build 26220.7653, first of all, Microsoft says that. It's updating the design of dialogues in accounts, other users based on modern WinUR framework with support for dark mode. Now, what we're looking at here is the old ad account dialog for work and school users. And this is the new one. Ad account dialog user experience for work or school users. So old, new, and Microsoft says that, please note that the visibility of the dialog option depends on whether a domain joined work or school account is configured on the device. So that's a bit of a UI interface tweak and adjustment. Microsoft bringing a little bit more consistency across the board in regards to those dialogs. And then just to mention the next, if you are running a Copilot plus PC, the Copilot prompt suggestions in click to do will now load instantly, according to Microsoft. This change is not yet rolling out to Windows Insiders in the EEA or China, so just take note of that. And here's a big one, and one I'm quite actually happy to see. Microsoft says you can now set .webp images for your desktop background in settings, personalization, desktop background. Now, currently, if I right-click on my desktop in the stable, and I head to personalize, background, And I select picture and I browse photos and I head to a pictures folder. It only picks up the JPEG as an example or the PNG. There is another .webp image here. It's not picking it up. So as an example, if I head into my pictures folder, there's the WebP and there's the JPEG. So it's not picking that up. And if I right click on the JPEG, I can set desktop background. And currently in the stable, if I right click, no option to set as desktop background. And I think that's a nice move because, and I think that's a nice move because up until this stage, that was not the case. So, so that's one of those small yet significant changes that's gonna be taking place. You can now set .webp images for your desktop background. And if you are wondering what that file format is, .webp is much smaller than a JPEG and PNG, but at a similar quality. And has always been supported on Windows. Windows apps or web browsers can load .webp. But currently, if you want to place it as a background, as mentioned, not the case. And that's going to be soon changing, which is a nice move. And then over and above those couple of changes, we get fixes for the taskbar and system tray start menu there's Bluetooth, there's a Bluetooth fix. Log in and lock screens, there's a fix for that. Settings, there's two fixes and a couple of general. And then we get some known issues because the beta is still in preview. So guys, that's more or less what's new. In last week's beta channel insider preview ball that rolled out late Friday in my part of the world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.